The front office will allow the user to book shipments, obtain rate quotes, track shipments, view reports, and access shipment and quote history. To log into the front office, select the login button and enter the username and password and then select login. The first section the user is brought to is the customer dashboard. The customer dashboard will allow the user to access shipment data such as the number of LTL, truckload, and domestic freight shipments that have been entered. The user will also be able to view the number of quoted shipments versus the number of booked shipments over a six month period. From the customer dashboard, the user will also be able to access reports and tools such as a customer report. They can also manage and update the address book and product catalog from the screen. The address book and product catalog are used when creating orders. To begin a new order, the user can utilize either the Quick Quote section or select Start a New Order. On the Start New Order page, the user will start a simple four-step process to quote and book an order. Step one is the shipment quote. The user can either enter an origin and destination zip code or select from a pre-existing address book. The user can then select the accessorials and move on to the Commodity Information section. Before entering the commodity information, select the mode of transportation desired. The options are LTL, truckload, or domestic freight. After the mode of transportation is selected, enter the required fields. The required fields are handling units, pieces, total weight, description, and class. Class is a required field for LTL shipments. If the class is unknown, we do offer a class calculator that will give a estimated class based on the weight, length, width, and height that is entered. Once the commodity information is entered, you do have the option to click on Add Line Item to add another commodity line. Once all the commodity lines are entered, go ahead and select Generate Quotes. Once the quotes appear, you'll see Transit Time, Carrier Name, Fuel Surcharge, and the total for the shipment. You can also view terminal information for the carrier as well. From this point on, the user can either select Save Quote or Select. If you select Save Quote, it will save the current quote to the Quote History section. The quote can then be accessed at a later time and booked. To proceed with the booking in the current session, go ahead and click Select. Step two in the order entry process is the shipment details. Here's where the shipper and consigning information is entered, pickup and delivery times, opening and closing times, and other important information needed to book a shipment. You'll notice that our blue highlights throughout this page indicating required fields. If the user selected from their address book from the previous step, a lot of this information will already be entered for them. Once the user confirms that all the information is accurate and all the required information is entered, they will select Review Shipment to proceed to Step 3. Step 3 is the Shipment Summary page. The Shipment Summary page will give a review of all the order details, including pricing. From this point, the user can either select Previous Step to go back and make changes to the shipment, or select Book Shipment to book the order. Once the user selects Book Shipment, the pickup request is transmitted directly to the carrier via an electronic pickup request. Step 4 is the shipment confirmation page. This basically gives the user confirmation that the order has been placed. The user will see a shipment confirmation number and other options. The user can proceed with either printing, faxing, emailing, or downloading the BOL and labels. To access either document, select labels or BOL. Once the document opens, select either Send, Print, Download, or Close. If Send is selected, the Send Documents window will appear, allowing the user to either email, fax, print, or download the documents. The user can also type a subject line and message that will be sent along with the document if the document is emailed or faxed. There are other features in the front office that the user can take advantage of. From the drop-down menu, the user has access to return to the dashboard, view shipment history, access recent quotes, and update their user account information. The user also has the ability to track their shipments at any time. To track a shipment, the user can either enter the shipment ID number, PRO number, 
or reference number in any of the tracking fields throughout the front office. Once the shipment information is brought up and if there is a PRO number entered, the PRO number will link directly to the carrier's website for more detailed shipment information. The user can also access other documents for the shipment. They can access their bill of lading, their labels, and even an invoice once the shipment is delivered and invoiced. Each shipment also contains an activity log with much more detailed information regarding the shipment. That concludes our demonstration of the front office. Thank you for your time.